everyone and welcome back to another episode in our planet zoo and as the last episode ended I have been sorting out the Chinese pangolin populations in our trade center and as you uh, could probably see I have um, released a lot of our uh, Chinese pangolins with our nice little names but I have written a list I have a list right in front of me Pair the second, these are the things, so the names that we need to name our future pangolins, which go into the pangolin exhibit. So, pair the first got released, so we need to name somebody pair the second. We need to name a pineapple the third and a huckleberry the second, and because peach the second is going to be released, we need to name somebody peach the third. I love keeping our fruity names for everybody because I think it's very important that we keep the lineage of our beautiful pangolins, but now at least we have some room in the um, trade center for our, for our many tortoises that we have and we're trying to sort out. Okay, and then let me see. Can I just like select this big little area? Yes, okay, this seems to be a good way to do it. I'm gonna flatten the area. I think that's also a really good way to just kind of, yeah, definitely a good way to do it. Okay. Flatten this entire thing. I know we do have some um, tortoises still there, I think, but we'll have to do that in a sec. Okay. And then if I just come up here, Select this huge area, making sure I'm not selecting any of the bridge or anything important. Then I'm pretty sure I can just yoink a few of these out of the way. Like the plants. Some of the main trees. We can keep that tree. Um, I think that's the ground. And we can yoink some of these things away. Okay like that is this gonna clear as well yeah this gets to clear good okay and then we gotta do whoops i just placed a barrier i didn't mean to do that okay and then we gotta get rid of these ourselves okay big clear up today huh big clear up okay we don't want this. I'm gonna flatten all this. Flatten all this out. Oops, we opened that. Whoops, we opened that to people. I didn't mean to do that, but oh well. And like that, that can stay water. Because it's fine being water. Um, we can take away this water for now and flatten that out. So it doesn't upset anybody and then this is a big space for a nice gnarly enclosure i think they're gonna really enjoy this okay we can also do like a, a viewing platform that could be quite cool okay um is this just somewhere for me to flatten yeah okay whoops didn't mean to do that i wanted to just do the whole select thing again Whoops, I just got rid of that big tree, but that's fine. I'm gonna keep that. And then we can get rid of these, which won't go with the double select thing. There's a palm tree back there, and the bin. And then this water here as well. Needs to out the way and just like that we can clear a whole new area which is just amazing how we can do that for our beautiful tortoises and at the same time expand this also important path which is right here because i think this is an important path which we really need to expand so let me get my expanding let me see here so much better. So much better. Look at that. Look at that. Um, I'm going to make this the size it is, which is a six. I think it's a five. There. Okay. 
very cool. And this is up to the Okapi, isn't it? The Okapi Falls? Yes. So we have our Okapi area there. And we have our pangolin, the end of the pangolin area there. So yeah, we're going to put some nalas, some nayalas in here. So let's look at what they desire for their area. So it's an antelope. It's a kind of antelope and Africa tropical. So we're going to definitely do the tropical side of Africa. One male, four females, which we have. Um, they are shy. Guests can't enter, so they're going to be a lot like the Okapi, I think. Very easy to reproduce, which is great for us. Um, we haven't really researched them, but they like a lot of the same enrichment, it looks like, as the Okapi, so we should be fine. Um, it doesn't say... What I want to know is, like, the... Oh, this is what I want to know. So they need 300, and they need grade 2 boundary. Okay. I'm pretty sure we can fit that in here. And I kind of want to do... I guess we could do an like a overviewing platform here. So maybe we should do that before we do the or is that a bad idea? Okay, wait. Okay. So left in in get rid of that. And attach this. Okay, that's what I wanted. Okay, so this is a circle. And then we attach that. So this is the really cute viewing platform. Okay. I like it already. I think they're going to want this tree, but we'll keep it there. So this should be enough height for them not to jump over. What height did we do for the Okapi? You see, this is a very low height, isn't it? Okay. I think we'll be fine. So let's build the barrier. We're going to do a wooden log barrier. Mm -mm. I'm just trying to think. Trying to do a little bit of thinking with the height wise. That looks pretty good to me. Ta -da. and then we can go like right across the back which is what I plan to do in the first place and then we can do a curly worthy we don't need it like totally like huge but I think it'd be quite fun to do a curly worthy this way and then just like cut underneath here <clears throat> we can make this glass although I don't think they like oh, we can make it one way glass there. And then put this in. Um, maybe we can put like a viewing platform in here. That could be kind of cool. So let's just make that now actually. I'm going to do it like here. So hang on, hang on. I wish I didn't make that first. Okay. It's going to be another circle because I do love having the circles. And then you're just going to link it up like this. There. Like a low ground viewing platform. Which people can go and sit in. Which I think is a cool idea. One of our peafowl are about to die of old age. That's fine. My poor peafowl. They will be fine. Okay. Let's finish off the wooden logs. Up to here. And then I want a curved section of one-way glass, which is curving the, the wrong way right now, but I think we can swap it around after. So I think it should be fine. Nobody panic. Okay, and then straight wood. Did I do it too close? Yes. Okay. There. Well, look at us go. Building our cool little, little exhibit for our Nayales. 
so proud. Boom. Well, look at that. And we can cover a lot of like this bit with um, this looks a bit funky here with rocks to make it look na natural like we did with the okafi. Okay. So this is the opposite way. Yep, that's way better. And then this needs to be the opposite way. Yep. And then I think, let's see. Let's just check on anything that's happened because we missed a flamingo maturing, which can be released. We missed the death of honey. <gasps> honey! So we just put the new male in and then honey died. And a uh, P file died and I'm the second. Oh my goodness, we're losing some of our amazing bongo, which is super super sad. I'm like really sad about half of these bongos. We need to name somebody um I'm, I'm the third. But I don't think any of these are gold babies. Nope. Damn it. Okay. Honey. I think we need to talk about the pangolins really quickly. I'm so disoriented. Okay, pangolins are down here. Okay, pangolins. We have two things in here, Jen and Zizi. Jen, let's look at your stud. So I just don't pick up your parents, siblings, or children. Okay, so we can pick any female to go with him. So I'm gonna pick Mango. We can pick two females, right? So Mango. And we're gonna take this little girl out and we're gonna call her, we're gonna call her Pear the Second. Use one of our names from our past pangolins. The two we know and love. Okay, who's this? So that's Mango. Here she comes. Come on, who's this? Okay, you're gonna be called Pear the Second, my friend. There you go. Live long and prosper and have some babies. Have some gold babies, please, because we're running out of gold babies. Okay, and then we had a Bongo Mature, who I'm going to send off to the wild. I think the male died. So we have Beige and Simba. Yes, and the male, the main male died, who was in here, which is such a shame. Simba is her sibling. Okay. And Simba has lots of siblings. Okay, I see. So, if we go Trade Center... Bongo. Not the pangolin, just the bongo, please. Okay, Bron is, looks like he is good to go. And I'm gonna name him. I'm gonna name him something else. I wanna name him Twig. I like the name Twig. Twig sounds good. Oh, and Okapi matured. We'll go and pick him out in a sec. Come on now, bring my, bring my bongo. Come on. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here's Twig. Okay, Twig. Twig, Twiglet. I love that. Okay, Twiglet. Twiglet is all good. And I'm feeling we probably need one more female in here. And it all depends on who Twiglet wants. To breed with just in case he has any parents or siblings nope okay he's good so he we can choose so let's bring out Nala let's bring out Nala 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 was born here I'm pretty sure so she's all good and let's see so now we have Simba we have Bay Triglet and Nala is on her way Nala is on her way let's remove the Okapi this one she can be released to the wild. There we go. And did Nala come yet? Come on, Nala. Making it difficult for us. 
I'm supposed to be tortoise cleaning. Come on. Uh, what? Oh, just matured. Okay. Um. I'm pretty sure she's fine actually staying in here. I'm going to call her Zelda. I'm pretty sure she's fine staying. Although she is not staying because she is bad appeal, I just realized. She has no, go she's not a golden one. So Nala is a golden one. So there we go. Nala, she's all good. And we need to slow down for a sec again and pause because we have a giant, a giant tortoise which is matured. We have another giant tortoise which is matured. Here they all go. Okay. And we're all good to go. Oh my goodness me. Cleanliness is going downhill with our 61 tortoises. Oh, you know why? Because I haven't added them to the work. The works. Works. Work. What are they called? Work. Um, help. Help. Work zones. The work zones. Oh, goodness me. Okay. So, that is entrance. Work zone 2 is looking pretty big, but I'm going to add it to work zone 2. That's probably a bad idea. Maybe I should add it to work zone... Okay, well, none of this is added to work zone 4, so I just never did this. I'm going to add this to work zone 4. I'm going to let that cover all of that and then work zone tortoise terrain and then entrance okay entrance work zone definitely does not have to cover those two entrance work zone covers a lot of stuff um this doesn't need to be entrance either i'd say this needs to be work zone four this can be the tiger zone. Tiger zone. And then the entrance one can chill a bit. And work zone two is too long, but it's all good for now. I'm sure we'll be fine for now. Okay, while well we fix the uh, Nala habitat, Nayala, the new Nayalas, which we have bought as well. We've got them. We just need to put them in. Okay. Let's make these um windows i want to make glass windows which for the one my glass is placed in the wrong row there we go okay we can put it up a tiny bit i do want to put it up a tiny bit more because they are scaredy animals and i think it would help them a lot okay that's just perfect. They don't need it any bigger than that. That's fine. Okay. This is going to look great. This is going to look great for them. Okay. We have a big old tree as well for them. Which maybe is kind of in the way. Slightly. Okay. There. That's three big old trees for them. We need a keeper gate. Which I guess is going to go here. ZZ is about to mature. We'll, he'll have to be released to the wild. Um, what am I doing? A gate for the keeper. Keep gate. Ta-da! Okay. And let's put them in. And then next episode, we can have the beautiful arrival of our new Nayalas. Which are... I've lost them. I've lost them. Nayala. Here they are. Okay. Let's put our male in let's put these ones in and we can name them we can beautifully name them next time okay in you go okay and i'll see you guys in the next episode goodbye for now